right, welcome to uh, Mel Larson's workshop. You're not going to be impressed with the shop, but you're going to be impressed with what I do. So come on inside. Rob is the cameraman. This is my buddy that's going to help me become famous. Uh, Rob, why don't you just fan around? You can see all my junk and all my tools. And they say that a clean shop is not, is not a busy shop. So this ought to prove that uh, I'm pretty busy because it's not a clean shop. But this is tools. I don't have any fancy equipment. I have basic tools. Um, it's not a real elaborate shop. Um, but I do some pretty incredible things here. I make my shark cue cases, I make my shark uh, pocketbooks, my purses. Um, but today we're going to be talking about my invention that's a engine that's driven by gravity. And I'm going to show you a little bit about it, I'm going to show you a little about me. Uh, I want you to watch this video, I want you to tell your friends, I want to get mega hits on this video, I want it to go viral. I'm going to show how we can develop an engine that runs on gravity. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself so you know uh, who I am and my credibility of where I'm coming from. We're going to go back to when I went to school. In junior high, we had woodworking classes and we had metalworking classes. I've taken both, the woodworking classes and the metalworking classes. We were considered the dummies. The industrial arts was the the title of those class. I wasn't in a college course. I was in the industrial arts. Those are for the idiots. Okay, well, who's the idiot now? Uh, when I went to metalworking class, we would make candlestick holders, um, little metal objects. I sent away for blueprints to make a go-kart for $2. And I built a go-kart in junior high and drove it around in the school at night. Uh, it was in the yearbook. Um, but that was a pretty cool thing to build a go-kart when everybody else was building, like I said, little metal candle horse, stuff like that. When I went to high school, um, here's my high school uh, yearbook. And you're going to see, that's me right there. I don't know if you can see that, Mel Larson. But my nickname was Marvelous. My nickname was Marvelous Mal. Under here, the alumni wrote, what comes, come what may, he'll find a way. This has been since my whole life. My ambitions, uh, to be a race car driver. I already was a race car driver. Desire, to be famous. I want to be famous. Uh, happiest when? Carrying a lot of money. It's funny. Uh, money doesn't make you happy, but I've been poor my whole life. And you're very limited to what you can do without money. But with money, gives you the ability to do many things. I have accomplished so much in my life with nothing that I can do almost anything uh, with nothing but we're doing this video to get reach out for help we're reaching out here to people who can help me accomplish the goals in my life that I want to do I have an idea for a device that runs on gravity I'm going to show you a few little things this this was a picture in one of our videos of a device that I made and here's another device center if you notice, on all these Leonardo da Vinci's wheel, there's some drawings here of a machine, so on and so forth. There's another machine, it's counterweights. Uh, some other machines, uh, basically they're kind of a water wheel that turns. Um, here's another water wheel that turns. Here's a thing done with air and uh, tubes. Here's another thing with water, supposedly gravity, so on and so forth. But none of these, none of these work, okay? We have pictures here of, these are machines that I built. Here's a wheel with a cam and, and springs and so, for, so on and so forth. Here's an, that's the springs and the wheels, springs and the wheels. Here's another wheel that's a wheel inside of a wheel. Okay, there's a, I'm moving the center to offset the weight. That's the idea behind a, a machine that will turn on its own. The weight being out on this side, the weight being in on this side, therefore it's heavier over here, lighter over there, will cause it to spin. This is the device with counterweights here. There's a lot of work and research that I went through to build this device right here. I mean I probably got I don't know how many hours, but I spent uh, thousands of hours in four months 
on building three big models of this technology. Well, it doesn't spin on its own, but I learned a lot about how things work.